Welcome everybody to Travel About. We're uh, going to do a little food review for you today. We are at Holstein's on the second floor of the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is a burger and shake joint, but an extreme upgraded version of a burger and shake joint. Um, I'm not going to shock you with the prices right off the bat. Let's just go for the food and the environment and the atmosphere and um, then we'll talk about prices in the end. We started off by ordering a shake. This is a burger and shake joint. The shake is on the way. It's called a cookies and cream and it is alcohol shake. It has pinnacle vodka whipped cream vodka in it um, and many other amazing ingredients. We got some water to go with it and they bring us a bucket of popcorn and uh, there's the name of the place shakes and buns shakes and buns funny name anyway this is the type of environment we're in casual there's a lot of noise playing in the background uh, that's from outdoors there's like a food court behind me but this is a sit-down restaurant in here they do have a bar where you can just sit you can eat at the bar I think you can see the lady at the bar up there in the corner so it's a nice environment Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, we got some plates. Oh yeah, we ordered appetizer. I've got some uh, cheese curds coming uh, that sound absolutely amazing. And I'll start with a review of the popcorn, even though it's free, and it is. It's like you're in a movie theater, guys. This is some unbelievable popcorn. Salty, addictive, crunchy, slightly buttery, very slightly, and uh, just amazing popcorn. You wouldn't think popcorn would be so good, but dang on, that's good. <laughs> Cloth napkins. Check the silverware in a second. One of the things I like to do in my reviews is actually check the silverware. And I'm checking for dirt and water spots. And that fork has neither. And that knife has not either. And this knife is where you're usually gonna find your water spots on this flat, wide surface. And uh, I'm gonna tell you what, we've eaten at almost every restaurant here at the Cosmo, and I have never found it yet. Their um, sanitization and their cleaning procedures are top notch here. And uh, you really should not expect less. There's everything about the Cosmopolitan is top shelf, five star, Unfreaking believable, but I'll be the I'll be the judge of that five star thing for this food. Uh, so far, we we even ranked one of them six star earlier. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can watch those reviews. Um, I love this place. I keep saying that in every video. I love this place. Hey everybody, our cheese curds have arrived. We've got a um, what kind of dip them was this an aioli or some sort. Yeah, I wish I left the menu here, guys. I'm sorry. I'll try to figure it out later. And uh, I think it's like a salsa. So let's go ahead and dip one in this one first and see how we do. Mmm, yeah, that's good. Try the other one. Equally as good. Hey, guys. This is my cheese curd. Loaded inside. Tasty, crispy, delicious. This is that yellowish type of dip, which I just can't remember what it was. Slight mustard. It's delicious. That is a cookie and cream milkshake done the Vegas way. Bamboozled. Yeah, this is a bamboozled. It's got that pinnacle whipped cream vodka in it. I have no idea how we're going to eat or drink this. Although, this is the first milkshake in history where they brought us a plate. <laughs> so I think we're supposed to uh, dissect it a little bit. You think that's a little cookie? That cookie is about two and a half, three inches in diameter, guys. That cookie is massive. Hey y'all, if you didn't believe me about the size of that cookie that was sitting on top of the milkshake, it's big as my head. No, not really. But look how big that cookie is. I'm gonna take a bite. That's what you're supposed to do with them, right? Oh, that's amazing. 
they have another bike. That is amazing. Mm. Hey guys, we're going to um, get a close up of the shake here with the cookie removed so you can really see what's happening. And uh, if we don't eat it soon, this is going to be all over the table. So we're going to have to somehow get this over there to the plate. Leslie's going to give it a shot. I think she'll probably agree with me. Well, this is what they do here. It's all about the shakes here um, and the burgers. And once again, we're at the Cosmopolitan and they don't do anything half-ass around here. This is five-star milkshake, 10 stars if they had it. I don't know how they got this to stick to the rim of the glass. I'm waiting for it to fall off, but so far, so good. <laughs> I think they actually melted the chocolate around the rim and then put the peanut stuff on it. Quite incredible. We are going to enjoy the heck out of this. These cheese curds are amazing. And we probably did not need to order french fries, but I'll review those for you anyway. All right, everybody. No surprise to me, I got a burger bigger than my hand. Uh, this is called the Classic, just like it sounds. I did have them add some cheese. Didn't even ask how much that was. I'm sure it wasn't free. All right. meal looking good. Everything looks fantastic. Uh, so I'll have to eat anything else that, right now for you. Man, that is a crazy good shake. Hey, I love to hear that. <laughs> awesome, you guys enjoy your meal. Amazing. Okay? You're welcome. All right, sorry about that. Very attentive waiters here but not overbearing anyway I uh, want to get into a little bit of that burger for you real quick I, I ordered mine medium well no pink and uh, looks like we just just beyond which is a perfect medium well I'm just gonna taste a little of that burger by itself mm. that burger is well seasoned tastes amazing I'm gonna dissect this slightly for you big thick piece this is just how i this is how i cook them at home guys when i'm cooking out on the grill giant piece of tomato big burger we've got some aioli in there i don't even know it's some kind of crazy fancy aioli pickles i'm a big pickle fan and i can't even put my hand around this bun well i can but that's that's big all right i'm gonna show you leslie's meal she got basically a uh, mushroom swiss burger on steroids <laughs> every bit as big as mine bigger actually because she's got a fried egg on top um, just over the top everything going on here now she took her steak sauce on the side it's steak sauce not ketchup I think or maybe that is one of them is and sweet potato fries and let's dig into this stuff and see how it is uh, because it's really hard for me to hold the camera and eat at the same time we start with a fry okay not limp Guys, I think they just peeled a sweet potato and cooked this. Wow. I think that's exactly what they did. That is amazing. Five star, five star french fry. Five star shake, five star cheese curd. And now we're gonna go for the hamburger. And uh, how I'm gonna do that on camera, I have no idea. If I try it, we're gonna make one heck of a mess. But you know what? We're gonna we're going for it, man. We're going for it. We can't go for it. I can't pick it up. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna have somebody hold the camera for me. Let me get this put together first. Hey right, guys, this thing is as big as my head, and here we go. Hey. It ain't messy, it's not good. This is messy. Which it should be. This is grass fed beef, so is hers. It's the only thing they serve here. It's one reason the price is a little high, you'll see that later. Um, I hate to say this, guys, that's better than the burger I can make at home. I hate to admit that, but that is the honest God truth. That is a five-star burger if I've ever had one. Holy cow. 
<laughs> well, we are going to. Leslie is going to make a massive attempt here, but this is—I'm not sure it's going to work. I can barely hold it with two hands. I know she can't even pick it up. Lean way over. Yeah, she got a bite there. We may be forking and knifing this one, y'all. She's got caramelized candy style to, uh, onions. She's got a spring mix instead of lettuce. I have lettuce. She's got an egg uh, over easy on top, which is going to run everywhere. It did. That is a perfect cook. And guys, we're going to turn this camera off and enjoy this meal. And uh, we'll give you the final review and the bill at the end. Hey, everybody. We're coming to the end. Not of the food, but of our... Uh, stomach sizes. Uh, this is a classic case of our eyes were bigger than our stomachs and everything is so wonderful, so delicious. Thank you. What's that? Give me some more water. Uh, we're only that far into that shake, but remember it was up to here when we started. Uh, we gotta still get to eat that cookie. There's so many cheese curds in this appetizer. We're not gonna finish those. And I'm about three quarters of the way through my burger, and I'm actually getting full. And I was really hungry when I came up here. This is a tremendous amount of food. Be aware of that if you're ordering. So be, be insanely hungry. And I don't, it's so good, I don't even mind leaving it let it sit here. Usually I try to finish everything, but uh, I'm going to switch back over to that ice cream cookie over yonder. And uh, we've been scraping the sides of this thing, trying to figure out what's going on. It appears to be like a marshmallow, like a sticky marshmallow cream wrapping the rim with all the cookie dough and chocolate on it. You can just take like a spoon and just scraping it off. It is amazing. Anyway, that's where we're at. Final review and price reveal. Review is pretty simple. Five star everything. Although Leslie had one tiny little complaint and I'll show you. She felt her burger was a little undercooked. And there is quite a bit of pink in there. Um, she did not complain, did not send it back, and ate most of it. Anyway, this bill is all curled up on me, but here we go. Get ready. There you go. Hey guys, that was a $78 lunch. And uh, we don't regret one bit of it. Um, everything was just amazing. Uh, yeah, they did a charge you $250 for the cheese, that's funny. Um, we probably could have not had the cheese curds, although I really enjoyed them. So, um, sweet potatoes were four bucks, we knew that. And uh, that's it, that's what it cost. And uh, here's my suggested gratuities. I love how they suggest uh, what you should pay somebody for, for, uh, for what they do. But anyway, we, we tip well here, so don't worry about that. Anyway, final review. Five star. Final review. We're going to go ahead and give Holsteins a five star review. Uh, five out of five. Uh, everything about it was fantastic. Uh, tiny, slightly undercooked on her burger to her taste. She did eat most of it, half of it. She still enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if the difference is, when I order mine, I always say no pink. Always, I say no pink. Uh, she said medium well, but she didn't say no pink. So who do we blame? Uh, I don't know. Her burger was thicker than mine. She had a different style of hamburger. And so that's probably what did it. They probably cooked them the same amount of time. Um, but hers was a little thicker. Anyway, it's a hell of a burger, guys. <laughs> no matter how you look at it. Um, that's it. That's all I got to say. Uh, Holsteins, uh, go to the bank before you show up over here. But be ready for uh, one heck of a lunch. I don't know if they serve dinner. They probably do. I said lunch. I should have said meal. You say meal. And, uh, they got the cutesy little artwork on the wall behind me here. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button for me. Um, ignore the screaming kid over here. And I'll see you guys somewhere in the western part of the United States very soon.